Hi and welcome to this QuickBooks training video from Tracy Bressler CPA. We are putting together a short video here that's going to explain to you how to use the scheduled payroll feature in QuickBooks. Now that was a new feature that was included in QuickBooks 2007 but a lot of people still are not using it. It's not a required part of payroll. But it can make payroll a lot easier for you. And I'm going to go to Employee Center and once I pull that up, then you notice there are three tabs across the top here on the left side. I'm going to pick Payroll. And this is the area in the top here where I will set up my payroll. So I'm just going to click this link right here that says Set Your Payroll Schedule. And this is the screen that I get when I do that. Now, the first thing QuickBooks wants to know is what do we want to name this payroll schedule? Well, I can name that anything I want to. I could name that ABC if I wanted, but that's not very descriptive. So I'm going to name it bi-weekly. Yes, I'm going to pay my employees every two weeks, or actually I already do. And so when I set that schedule, I want that to describe to me that that's the schedule that it's on. The next thing QuickBooks wants to know is, okay, how often do you pay employees on this schedule? Well, that's the same, uh, the same answer. Bi-weekly is how often we are paying employees, so I'm going to leave that set at bi-weekly. The next thing QuickBooks wants to know is when will the next pay period end date be? This is the sample file in QuickBooks. The default date in the sample file is in uh, 2007. That's why we're seeing this old date here. And uh, let's go ahead and stay with that, and we're going to say, okay, December 15th, the end of that week, that is going to be the end of our next pay period. Well, if that's the end of the pay period, what day do we want to print paychecks? So let's say the next Friday, which will be the 21st, that's going to be the next day for paychecks to be created. That's all I need. I answer those four questions and I can click OK. And then QuickBooks is going to ask me something else. And what it's asking me here is since I already have employees in the file, they have already received payroll, they're already on um, a pay frequency, which is different than a pay schedule, but their pay frequency is set in QuickBooks to bi-weekly. And so QuickBooks is saying, hey, you've got three employees in the file that are set with a pay frequency that bi-weekly, do you want to add those to your bi-weekly pay payroll schedule? That would make sense. So I'm going to say yes. And there they are, three employees have been added. So I will now click OK. Now, that's it. My payroll schedule is set up. The next time I go to do payroll, I will highlight that. Click on the button that says Start Scheduled Payroll. This is the screen that I get. And some of these hours are pulling from the timesheet. Some are just pulling forward from the um, payroll before. I can set my hours right here in this column. So let's say that Elizabeth actually worked 50 hours over the last two weeks. If I want the detail, I can still look at that. So I can click on the employee's name. So let's look at Elizabeth here. If you have not used payroll schedules, but you have done payroll in QuickBooks, this is the window you're used to looking at. This is where you put the information before. You can still use that. It's still there. And uh, so if I needed to change something, I would, I would do that. This is the biggest time saver if you, uh, if you don't have to change everything on, on each payroll. If all I need to do is put in my hours, once I've done that, I click on the Continue button. QuickBooks gives me a little overview. Here's how your payroll is coming out. Here's the gross pay. Here are the taxes being withheld, other deductions. Here are the net paychecks for each of your employees. And at this point, I can just tell it to create paychecks. There are some other uh, information uh, fields up here that you notice. What bank account are we going to use? Um, are the checks going to be printed out of QuickBooks, or are they going to be assigned check numbers and so forth? But um, I'm not going to need to change any of these, so I'm just going to click on Create Paychecks. And there we go. All three created. And pop up another little screen here in a minute. Tells me that's complete. And I could print those right now by clicking on uh, this button. So that's it. That's uh, all there is to creating and then using the uh,
payroll schedule feature in QuickBooks. I hope that's been informative to you, and we hope you'll visit our website to look at the other training videos that we have as well. Thanks.